Chapter 62 Because I love Zion, because my heart yearns for Jerusalem, I cannot remain silent. I will not stop praying for her until her righteousness shines like the dawn, and her salvation blazes like a burning torch. The nations will see your righteousness, kings will be blinded by your glory, and the Lord will give you a new name. The Lord will hold you in his hands for all to see, a splendid crown in the hands of God. Never again will you be called the God-forsaken city or the desolate land. Your new name will be the city of God's delight and the bride of God, for the Lord delights in you and will claim you as his own. Your children will care for you with joy, O Jerusalem, just as a young man cares for his bride. Then God will rejoice over you as a bridegroom rejoices over his bride. O Jerusalem, I have posted watchmen on your walls. They will pray to the Lord day and night for the fulfillment of his promises. Take no rest, all you who pray. Give the Lord no rest until he makes Jerusalem the object of praise throughout the earth. The Lord has sworn to Jerusalem by his own strength, I will never again hand you over to your enemies. Never again will foreign warriors come and take away your grain and wine. You raised it, and you will keep it, praising the Lord. Within the courtyards of the temple, you yourselves will drink the wine that you have pressed. Go out, prepare the highway for my people to return, smooth out the road, Pull out the boulders, raise a flag for all the nations to see. The Lord has sent this message to every land. Tell the people of Israel, Look, your Savior is coming. See, he brings his reward with him as he comes. They will be called the holy people and the people redeemed by the Lord. And Jerusalem will be known as the desirable place and the city no longer forsaken.